Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we've got another antenna shootout for Fat Shark's digital FPV system. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. First off, I want to thank Joshua Barbwell for these uh, True RC X2 Air Mark IIs. Uh, he provided these for the testing, so Shout out to Joshua, thank you very much. In previous tests, I've tried four patch antennas, uh, such as these uh, TrueRC XAir Mark IIs. Uh, these are the singles uh, in place of the Omnis. But in this test, I wanted to try something a little bit different there, something with maximum penetration. We're using the X2 Airs in conjunction with the Lumineer double axes, and also try four Omnis, so four of the Lumineer double axes as you'll see in the test as well. There's a 3D printed uh, adapter. Uh, I'll post a link there in the video description there that you can find on Thingiverse as well as Fat Shark's um, Help Docs website. It allows you to remove the built-in Spyro Net 8 dB gain uh, patch antennas. They're connected with a UFL to the board the main board and you remove these and all you need is a UFL to SMA adapter along with a 3D printed piece. I used a 90 degree because uh, it, it cleared in here better. You probably want to grab the shortest length of cable that you can so you have the least um, signal loss. I found that in my testing anyway. But um, these are printed out of PLA. Uh, if I kept these in my car or in my bag a lot in, in the summertime, I'd probably use Pet G, but these are printed in PLA because I fly mostly uh, at my residence. So those are some options for you guys. I mean, you can use any patch that you'd like, but um, these I believe are only 8, 8 dB as well. So there's really not a benefit to replacing uh, these Spyro Net um, it, unless you're going to go with something with a much higher gain. So these, I believe, do have a wider uh, beam pattern as well. And even flying behind myself, as you'll see in the footage there, uh, these did provide um, much better coverage there. So another option that you can do if you fly behind yourself and you're having issues with penetration, you can mount um, a patch antenna. You really, in my testing, I found just one. So uh, I've heard that it's best to match the antennas for each um, diversity receiver. There are two diversity receivers and they use the Unicorn Magic similar to Rapid Fire or Fusion. They mix the signals together and give you the best possible picture. But I found in my testing that even just one patch pointed behind you will give you better coverage in that direction. So we'll cut to the footage, guys. Hope this video was informative. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one.